My razor female, you know, super kind of subtle gene, but like kind of like black pastel is. A little bit more subtle than black pastel, but super nice. Nice kind of copper color. Definitely, definitely a lot different than like a normal. Alright, so we'll put her up, let her chill out. She's not happy with me. This should be okay. Uh, Alright, we're almost done here, you guys. Thanks for bearing with me. Here's Axel. Take him out. Actually, gotta clean up his. Here's Axel. Here's my another one. One of my males. If you go back and look at Sandy earlier in the video, that's his partner. So, yellow belly, genetic stripe. See his stripe. Yellow belly, genetic stripe. 66% het VPI exanthic. So that means both of his parents were 100% het VPI exanthic but they both didn't pass the gene on to him. So there's at least a 66% chance that at least one of them passed it on. And when only one of the parents passes on a recessive gene, that's where the heck comes in. It's not gonna be visual. But he's a visual genetic stripe, which means that either both of his parents were genetic stripe or they were het for genetic stripe. And and if they were a hat for genetic stripe, then both of them pass the gene on to him, and that's why it's showing. So with, with recessives, you know, they need to have basically two copies for it to show visually. If they only have one copy, it's not, you can't actually see it with the eye. It's hidden. So he uh, will definitely be going for me. It's funny because when Barney was eating earlier, he was off food, and he was giving me a hard time. Then he started going, and Barney goes off food. So I know for a fact that he'll breed for me this year just by the way he's been acting. Like, like he's been eating really consistently, and he's already breeding size right now. I wanted to get him a little bit bigger. He has until September. But yeah, this is Axel. Yellow belly, G-stripe, 66% hat, VPI exanthic. If I get any VPI exanthics from Sandy, then he proved. But if not, then that's going to be sad. I really hope he does. I really hope he does prove. But a whole clutch, just G-strips, you know, you can't, you can't go wrong with that. So that's Axel. Three more snakes, guys. Three more. He grabbed Cruella. Like I was saying, this is my... Uh, this is my other blackhead GHI. So, so if you go back and look earlier in the video at my other blackhead GHI, it looks totally different than this one. So this one's this snake's been off food for me for a little while too. You can almost kind of tell she's a little thin, but been off food for a while. But I'm confident she'll be back soon. You know. Bellatrix, my mahogany, did the same thing, so I'm not stressing it. But she's going to be going to Barney pretty much every year until I get the super versions. Um, super version males. Because I can't overwork Sabbath and Barney. He, I've actually got this snake for Barney because I wanted him to have at least two females. Because he, this year he's got Blasium. And then honestly, I kind of almost want to breed Sabbath to... to uh, blaspheme next year with my blackhead GHI pastel yellow belly because I could make like I said the super blackhead mahogany GHI pastel yellow belly that would be insane but yeah that's this girl she's wicked I think I got her from like uh, I think the, the name of them is ball python investments love love her alright almost done here you guys uh, all right, and then so that's blackhead GHI. Next snake, Shiva. This is this is blackhead het red exanthic. This is what blackhead and het red exanthic look like. 
So you just saw Black Hat GHI. Now here's Black Hat Hat Red Exanthic. Super nice. Like her head's pretty wicked. Super, super. It's got a nice, nice kind of red hue. This snake from the Hat Red. Yeah, she's kind of been off food. She's usually a great feeder. But I'll, I'll put her up probably. Blackhead, Hat Red, Xanthic. So we'll see what I do with her. Like I said, I can't overwork Sabbath. So, uh, you know, I'd like to put Sabbath to, to her to make the, the super blackhead version. Here she comes. Oh, she's definitely judging you guys, like 100% judging, okay? So yeah, that's Shiva. She's awesome. Love this snake. Put her back right in her hide where she likes it. Alright, last but certainly not least. Here's um, another snake for Axel. This is Pastel Exanthic 100% Hat G-Stripe. So this will definitely make me, this snake can be kind of temperamental here. I almost want to give her a, I almost want to give her a, a high as well here, but man, it's hot in here, you guys. So yeah, she's massive. This girl is huge. So here is Pastel VPI Exanthic 100% Hat G Stripe. A hundred percent Hat G Stripe. Really super super nice example of Pastel VPI Exanthic, you guys, and that's why I picked her up. Um, you know I. You, you can find probably quite a few of these snakes, but I'm not sure about this with this quality. Some VPI Xanthics, especially some even pastel VPI Xanthics, they don't have near the blushing and stuff she does. So yeah, super nice example. Oh man, I cannot wait to see Joker bite this camera. I'm excited. But yeah, this is the last snake I'm going to show here, you guys. This is Elva. So yeah, that's what they look like here. A visual VPI Exanthic. So I, I, show, I, I showed you guys a bunch of Het VPI Exanthic stuff. Now, now you get to see what the visual looks like. This, this snake hates going, always hates going back in her tub. Oh, she's going to be good about it. She usually flies out of there on me. But there was all the snakes, you guys. The only snake I didn't show was Hansel. And basically that's just because he's in shed. Luckily, all the other snakes aren't in shed. I mean, how does that happen? When does that happen? Never. So, yeah, happy World Snake Day, you guys. Thanks for checking out my uh, collection here. It's grown, definitely, since last year. And I think even from last video. But definitely be on the lookout for uh, my clutches next year, because I'm going to have some pretty ridiculous stuff. Um, but, yeah, I'll uh, do another video soon here, you guys. Uh, like I said, I'll be getting another rack, and I'll probably do, like, a cleaning day video soon and kind of show you guys some stuff that I do as far as, uh, you know, mite prevention and and basically just sanit sanitizing everything. I'll show you how I do all that. But I'll let you guys go for now and have a, have a great night. Thanks for uh, watching the video. Peace.